What's up fellow bookworms? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dylan and today I just wanted to make this quick little video to share with you some of the best places that you can find the best deals on Kindle books, ebooks. Now, this isn't going to be exclusively for the Kindle. A lot of these resources are going to be helpful even if you have a Nook or if you prefer to use Apple Books or I think it's iBooks or uh, Kobo or anything like that. But I have specifically in mind Kindle users when making this video, but I think it'll be helpful for just about everyone who uses any kind of ebook. Now, I love my Kindle a lot. I use it just about every single day and I do a lot of my reading on the Kindle. But these days, it seems like Amazon has, for whatever reason, tried to price their ebooks at about the same price as their physical books. For example, just recently, I was looking at Stephen King's new book called Fairy Tale, and I was originally just planning on buying it on my Kindle instead of purchasing the hardback that you know is standard with a new release. But then I looked, and I think the ebook was either sixteen or seventeen dollars and the hardback was only 20. So I figured for $3 difference, I'll just get the hardback. So it didn't really make a lot of sense to me why a ebook that doesn't have to be printed, doesn't have to be bound, doesn't have to be shipped, would cost almost as much as a printed book. So it got me thinking, how can we find better deals on Kindle books? Because we all love our Kindle and we all wanna use our Kindle, but I don't wanna pay the same price for an ebook as I would for a printed book. So without any further ado, let's get right into it and let's talk about the first and probably the easiest place to find deals on Kindle books, on ebooks. And that's going to just be Amazon.com. Every single day, Amazon updates their daily Kindle deal section where they have access to a lot of really good books for usually a dollar to three to four dollars. Usually $4.99 is about where these daily deals will max out. And I found a lot of really popular books here. There aren't usually a ton of like brand new releases, at least not really popular brand new releases, but there are usually always a ton of really quality books on this Kindle daily deals section. Now, in addition to the daily deals, they also have usually like week long deals. Sometimes they have these sort of flash sale things where you can pick up some really solid books for again, anywhere from about a dollar to usually $5 is where they max out. I'll put a link in the description to where you can actually find all these deals. They're usually all located on the same kind of home page. So it's really easy to navigate and really simple to, to use. So I'll put a link in the description. You can check that out and hopefully find a really good deal on a book you've been wanting to read. Now another thing that's available on Amazon's website is something called Amazon First Reads. And this is basically access, usually early access, to new releases that you can own for free just by being a Prime member. You can choose one of usually about five or six books every month to purchase for zero dollars and zero cents just for being an Amazon Prime member, which is always super cool. Now because the Kindle is exclusive to Amazon, as far as I know, you can only buy books for your Kindle from Amazon, the rest of these resources are mostly going to be kind of newsletter type resources where you can sign up, tell them what kind of books you like, they will search through all of Amazon sales because usually there are a lot more books on sale than Amazon will display on that daily deals page. So they will scour all these books that are for sale and they'll let you know with an email sent directly to your inbox. Now I'll say right off the bat, I'm obviously not affiliated with anyone that I'll mention in this video, not Amazon, not any of these sort of resources that are you know, just meant to help readers out. So by my mentioning these websites, that is in no way an endorsement for these websites because things can change. So I'll just, you know, user beware. <laughs> but I have signed up for a lot of these myself. So I, I trust them and have no reason not to, but I just wanna let you know that if you sign up and something happens down the road, it's, it's not my fault. <laughs> Now let's start off with my favorite of probably all the resources that I'll mention here, which is BookBub. I'll put a link to this one and all the rest that I mentioned in the description below so you can easily check them out and sign up if you'd like. But BookBub is a newsletter where you can sign up, let them know exactly what kind of books you're interested in, and then when those types of books go on sale, they'll send you an email letting you know that, hey, a book you probably are interested in 
is half off or is 80% off or is on sale for however much. And you can check your email, see that, and make a purchase or not make a purchase, just like that. While BookBub is my favorite, there's a lot of overlap between the rest that I'll mention. So this will probably just be kind of a rapid fire list because they're all basically the same with just a few different you know, angles that make them a little unique. But for the most part, these are all going to be newsletters that you can sign up for where they will alert you when a book you probably are interested in becomes on sale. I guess goes on sale. In addition to bookbub.com, there's also early bird books where it is pretty much the exact same. You sign up, they'll let you know when books you're interested go on sale. There's also bookdealio.com, which is pretty much the same thing. Two more websites that are gonna be basically like BookBub are Book Gorilla and Bargain Booksy. And there's also a website called eReader IQ, which is unique in that it is a database where you can actually search through all the books that are available for the Kindle on Amazon's website. Those are some of the places where I find the best deals for the Kindle, but let me know in the comments where you find your deals for the Kindle. Are there any other places that I missed? Are there other better places? Let me know in the comments below because I would always love to hear about a brand new, exciting resource to find cheap or free eBooks. So please let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there in the comments section, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this video was helpful. Press the notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video. I would truly appreciate it and you would be a welcome addition to this little bookish community. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.